They said I wouldn't be back. They said I'd never be back. They said the news was over. Well, guess what? It's January 14th and the news is coming right back at you. All the entertainment news of last week right now. Movie Pass has just gained since our last video, they've gained 500,000 subscribers. That is insane. They had 1 million subscribers. That was a huge landmark, but now 1.5 million subscribers. That is news right there. That is crazy. All the power to movie pass. My friends that are just recently getting it must be in the newest 500,000 and they are loving it already. There's just one issue. There's not really much customer service. So if you get burned, it's not too bad since it's only $9.99 a month. Bojack Horseman, the infamous Netflix TV show is in line to become one of the first syndicated Netflix original programming. This is interesting because this is the first show on Netflix to actually make its way on the cable in uh, the United States. I know there's been some shows that have gone internationally for like Sky in the UK or different uh, channels all around the world. And that makes a little more sense, but this is going to be here in the US. Uh, Bojack Hornstone will be on cable networks or at least they're looking into getting into syndication. AMC Theaters is no longer in talks with major studios to do day and date release. If you're unaware what day and date release is, it's when a theater shows a movie that's going on video on demand at the exact same day in theaters as well as video on demand. So this was only done a couple of times with major movies, but I remember the most recent one, Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Uh, this movie didn't really fare well either on VOD or in theaters, which was kind of a bummer. Uh, I did remember checking the movie out uh, after its release to home video, and it, and it was interesting, it was fun, but it just really kind of lacked. I would say that this tactic for theaters didn't really work that well like i think it would work well with indie movies but not so much with the major studio releases and this felt like in between an indie and a major studio release with scouts guide so I, it's interesting that this only really played out in like one scenario with amc i'd like to see them try it more john williams will be scoring star wars episode 9 did anyone see this coming? This is one of the craziest news stories I've heard this year. I never saw this one coming. John Williams scoring a Star Wars movie, especially the end of this most recent trilogy. There's no way I saw that coming. I thought it would for sure be Michael Giacchino. No, nah, I'm just playing. Of course, John Williams is scoring the last Star Wars in this series. Last up, the best story of the week. Harvey Weinstein was recently at a hotel restaurant in Scottsdale, Arizona. And he got, how shall I say this? I would say it's kind of a bitch slap. Like, what would you constitute a bitch slap? It was a double backhanded slap. I'll play the clip. Oh don't, don't, don't do that, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're a piece of shit. Fucking with those women. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that was a rough one. Harvey Weinstein getting slapped by this unbeknownst hero in the crowd just slaps him calls him an abuser of women and just takes off into the darkness we see no longer where this hero is going just that he lives a path of righteousness harvey weinstein getting what he deserves this is a shorter guy and gives hope to short guys like me out there and that's it for this week guys if you see harvey out there if you're in scottsdale arizona give him a big hard slap in the face tell him i said hi and uh, next week, we're going to be talking the entertainment news of January 21st. <laughs>